tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be doing something a little new. Um, I'll be doing some brawl hacking. Um, this is a type of Wii hacking. Um, you're hacking Super Smash Bros. Brawl. All you need to do this is an SD card and the homebrew channel, which you should already have if you've been following my other tutorials. Um, so first thing you need to do is have a model that you want to put into Brawl. Um, so I'll be using one of my already made stages to put a model from Twilight Princess into Brawl. So the program you need is 3ds Max 2010 um, Brawl Box and Extract Pack which I will include in the description if I can find um <clears throat> alright so oh yeah you also need Wii Scrubber and Twilight Princess ISO so load up your Twilight Princess ISO Go into to find the object partition one data all the way down to res object. Um, you'll see a lot of objects and stuff like that here. Um, I have a I found a website with H, if I can find it. Here we go. I found a website um, that had all the Twilight Princess uh, ARC file names. Um, let's do the Yeti. Um, so ykm .arc. Go to ykm.art right click and hit save save it to where the extract pack is which I will have included in the description and save it as ykm.art if you're gonna rename it be sure to add the .art extension at the end so just save I'm done with the Wii scrubber and now, go into the extract pack. <clears throat> Alright. So, ykm.arc, it might have a Yaz Zero desk compression in it. So, just to make sure that that's decompressed, you want to drag your arc file into this application. And was had a compression of that. So now that we have this decompressed, we want to drag it into Rark Dump, which will decompress the whole model. Go over here, Archive, PMDR, and you will have your model. There we go. The Yeti thing. Um. So now we want to open up. 3ds Max. My bad, drag this to your desktop because I've uh, had trouble if I try to do everything from here. Now open up 3ds Max. Uh, 
Um, look for a globe. <clears throat> All right. To load BMD or BDL files into 3ds Max, you're gonna need a script. Um, I downloaded it from somewhere, I forget where, uh, just search BMD, uh, to 3ds Max 2010 or something like that, and you'll find it. So, just follow the instructions on how to install it, and open it up. Browse for where you have your Yeti, which is right here on my desktop. Open, on check save animations, and include scaling. And make sure character export modeling is the one selected. Just click import. There we go, it's done. It should have all the textures and stuff in it. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> I've had trouble if you have kept one second. On freeze all. Because the Yeti is frozen. Come on. There. Now you can select the Yeti. Um, I've had trouble if you've kept um, the bone and the character model that also imports a little character geometry that imports with a B will do. So just select them. These two. Which to select just control click on both. Select them and just hit delete. You're left with just the Yeti. Um, if there's a skin modifier, good. You want it. But there isn't a skin modifier. Just add the skin modifier by going to this modifier area and click skin. Um, to make sure it's also applied, you might want to double click a couple times to make sure it's applied. There. Um, now right click on this and click copy. Go all the way down. My bad. You want to find the edit poly modifier. Click that and on click the light bulb that says skin. Now you're also going to need uh, the detach by ID script. So, find where you have that. The detached by ID. Open. Now click bitmap name. Uh, make sure all the options are clicked. Max ID is 99. I don't think you'll have more than 99 textures. If you do, just raise it up. Uh, now click detach. Now, the Yeti has more than one object in it. Uh, to be specific, it has this many objects. Now click each individual object and right click in the modifier and put paste. Now to make sure you don't select this object again, right click and hit freeze, if I can get it, freeze selection. And I'll freeze it. Do this for each object. I do not know why it's messing up on me. And this was working earlier. Come on. Just do that with everything make sure it's all checked up and working make sure you got it all mm, yeah I got it all and that one last object was the initial object that I bitmap that I extract it all. Now right click on freeze all. 
make sure the skin modifiers all apply to everyone. Uh, 